there is cyanide inside of apple seeds. It's 12 o'clock. And this is a blog. Uh, today is December 11th. I'm still in bed. It's cold outside. But that's not why I'm in bed. I'm always in bed. It's just easier. Well, I was trying to think of some things to do today. Mm, coffee's done. Mm, perfect. I don't know what's going on in the world. I know Trump is up to something. He's up to something. We're all going to feel it pretty good. Flint, Michigan still needs clean water. Yeah, it's been over two years now. <laughs> they have lead, lead contaminated water. No one's going to do anything. Who's going to do anything? I haven't done anything. How can I help? It just really boggles my mind that people... Not that they don't even believe in climate change. CO2. What? What's that? It goes in the air. No one knows what happens. Floats around. When you don't fundamentally believe in science or any of the things that you're using currently to exist, like how how do you how do you say you don't don't agree, <laughs> don't don't believe, let alone things like deforestation, which is very real. You can you can see it. Uh, ocean acidification, not so easy to see, but no less real. How about warming Arctic temperatures? The Arctic warms faster than the rest of the world. Polar regions are getting more heat, and you may not necessarily feel the effects of the weather. I mean, even if you just look at pollution, what about what about just pollution? What about pollution? <laughs> it's like it. What what about it? So lots of changes people could make in their lives, but no one's going to, because it's it's not lucrative. It's not easy. You know, I'm in a warm bed right now in a climate-controlled room. How how cold is it outside? Probably like 32. I'm gonna look it up on my on the phone. Alone, it's 32 right now. I mean, there's so much that you could do on an individual level. You gotta start a a blog, but basically we have to pressure people in power especially at the state level where your voice is more meaningful because you vote for the people who make these decisions. I feel like my reach is kind of, it's, it's limited. It doesn't get much farther than this. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do what I can. That's why I make art too. Art is just a way of communicating. Yeah, this is a gambrel route. You can't, uh, you can't tell. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to decide if it's worth going outside today. It would be nice to go home. I feel bad leaving Indy all alone. I mean, I know he can, he's a big boy, he can manage, but I haven't seen him in like three weeks. Basically, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I just work, and then I have time off, and during that time off, I just don't really do anything. And so I block. Like, I have no goals, I have no intention. Could make some music but i don't really plan on like having shows i've got this whole problem that i'm not very good at guitar i've been working on some ambient music and posting something to youtube right now and people don't really care about ambient music i just haven't met my audience yet i don't know i don't know what you guys like who you are who's watching i don't have a list of ideas Oh, holodogs. I could work on holodogs. You guys heard the holodogs? I've got holodog videos all over YouTube on a separate account. Of course, I'm so disorganized on the internet. Like, I've got three different YouTube accounts. I don't know how to be an internet person. Basically, I'm eating this bag of Brussels, baby bus, Brussels sprouts. Baby Brussels sprouts. Baby, baby Brussels sprouts. This is my. This is the food I have. Apparently, you can eat as many vegetables as you want. One thing about these, though, is that after eating them, like my mouth tastes spicy. Does anyone know why that is? Am I allergic? Oh, I'm gonna read you a poem 
I rediscovered and revised recently uh, from October 2013. While um, the music I just uploaded to YouTube will play in the background. I know it's just frog sounds. What? Is that music? Can frogs be music? Are these sounds? Then it's music. I normally don't read poems. I don't write a lot of poems either. Because you really have to, like, invest in your feelings in a way that I don't give myself the luxury. This poem is called, Apparently This Is What's Going On. I don't know what I'm feeling, but it colors the day, as if the yellow comes out to complement the blue. The sunflowers bow their heads away from the sun, so brilliant they can no longer bear it. Poetry is meditation in a comfortable place, with eyes open, waiting for an honest twig to reach the pen. I feel content, and yet a piece is missing. Decaying leaves make me crumble. Distant hay bales in a sun-soaked butte, licorice on an old beach chair and mothballs. The mountains could be the sky if the sky weren't so bright. Bells ring ever so slight. Time is like a snake slithering through your hands if you're still enough to hold it. I want to be a shadow so that I might serve the light. Some moments can't be described because I wouldn't point to the right thing. There were two horses standing side by side, each facing the other way, sharing different views. With the world in such dismay, am I a coward not to act? Or does the need to fix problems come from a misguided place? I turn to what's immediate and do the best I can, hoping that is enough. My will must be forceful if I am convinced I'm right. But perhaps the question answers itself when the time has come to help. It is my response ability. There will be no decision to make. Don't forget to play your flute and think of me when you hear an echo. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know. So much existential angst. This world is... Can be a lot sometimes, but it is beautiful. It's like I missed the sun though. All foods is my nightmare. I gotta get out of here. Leaving Whole Foods it was awful. Always tons of people in there. But, you know, pretty cool. You can't see them, though.